Hey guys, this is me. Got my safety, and uh, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you in this video how to make the mini taser that was in my other video. Mm -hmm. This is my friend. Mm -hmm. First off, to make sure this works, you're gonna need a Kodak camera. We bought ours at the local pharmacy. I'm not gonna be able to eat this with the respirator on. Anyways, um, you need the Kodak camera and you just rip it apart and you get the circuit. Now in the circuit, you will find in the top corner, here you can see that there's a portion already cut out using my Dremel. You can use wire cutters, but there's the problem of the circuit board probably cracking. So I just use the Dremel or a saw to be careful. And when you cut this, just make sure that you cut it underneath these three leads at the bottom, which is the transistor. And make sure that you cut it on the right side of this uh, metal piece right here that's connected to this diode. Like that. And this is basically your mini taser. All we need to do is solder some wires to it and then connect it to a battery. Okay, a uh, little update. You have this piece right here, this piece of circuit. You need to bridge the connection from the the right of the transistor to that little peg right there. It's right next it's the only one to the right of it on the transformer bottom right. Then you get your batteries, only 1.5 volts or 3 volts, and you attach the positive to that middle pin on the transformer, or the middle on the left side of the transformer. Okay, uh, I forgot about doing the videos and I went ahead and finished it, but this is basically how you're supposed to do this. If this is the bottom, like it, we have been showing, or I have been showing it, um, there used to be this hole where this black wire is and that hole was um, connected to a piece of metal that I cut out and I desoldered it and I put this black wire in place. This over here is the um, diode. You attach a wire to it and this yellow wire is my, I'm pretty sure it's my high negative voltage output. With two batteries in here, this thing is 500 volts. Now, that's all the wires that you have to put on here. You get this black wire that's attached um, to that hole, and you connect that to another wire, which will be your positive high output. Those two are soldered together to a switch, as you can see here. The other terminal of the switch is connected to the negative of the battery. And that's all there is to it. Now to make sure that it works, there should still be an LED on it if you cut it out properly. And when you flick the switch, the LED turns on. That indicates that, um, that it's on and that it works. And if you really want to make sure it works, you can salvage one of these it's the capacitor that was um, in the camera. I forgot to tell you earlier, you should uh, discharge it with a piece of metal before taking apart the camera or else you could shock yourself. But this is the capacitor. It can hold up to 330 volts. And when you attach it to 500 volts, it charges up pretty quickly. So this is the ground wire. The one that's attached to the switch is the ground wire or the um, positive wire. So this touches to this side. The one that's directly soldered to the circuit goes to the negative side. And the negative side of the capacitor has this white strip going down the middle. So to test it, you turn it on. Touch one side to the positive, other side to negative. And you'll hear it charging. When it's charged all the way, the red light should have a steady glow. Which you can't really see from this angle. When I'm holding it like this, it's, it's still blocked. Anyways, it should charge up the capacitor if you do it right. <coughs> now, if the ch capacitor's charged up, that means that you got enough voltage from that circuit, and that means your circuit works. 
But now you have this thing full of charge and you just want to discharge it on something. Like this. That was only moderately noisy. So that is basically finished miniature taser. The biggest part about this is the batteries. But you can get tricky like I did and put it inside of a Tic Tac container. And be warned about taking it to school, but it's really fun shocking your friends. But yeah, just stay, stay safe, don't get in trouble. I'm not responsible for anything you do with this.